The following program is pre recorded. All individuals are innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Havoc ensues in Quantum's cafeterias as Pizza Day is suspended. Buzzy Bees, on a rampage, the test subjects have broken out of their cells. An investigation into OSHA violations is carried out around the Madison Research Center. And Quantum Defense Firm is now Quantum Security Operations, following a $10 million rehaul. This is Quantum News at Midnight. I am Jeremy Dixon. And I'm Megan Hughes. Our top story tonight. Quantum Science has been sued by Pinewood Builders for alleged plagiarism of Pizza Day. Due to this lawsuit, Pizza Day has been suspended until further notice. Quantum Science has commented regarding the allegations, saying that, although we are met with these demoralizing allegations, we are committing to our employees and staff that Pizza Day will be brought back into our cafeterias. This report from our Food Junkie correspondent, Jason McGregor. Riots and food fights ensuing in the Madison Research Center, the extent of the damage from these pizza fanatics is only now becoming clear. Casualties are in the dozens and a counter-offensive led by QSO operatives is underway. This has been the most outrageous action since the cancellation of Taco Tuesdays. One individual who spoke to this program earlier confirmed the use of Tabasco by the pizza fanatics, which marks the beginning of modern condiment warfare. This has been Jason McGregor, Quantum News. That is appalling. I hope everyone involved is okay. In unrelated news, the Madison Research Center has suffered a major loss in regards to DMR equipment failure due to an unknown individual, and I'm quoting this from the arrest report, quote, jamming the power laser selector switch by simply flipping it, end quote. The individual was later sentenced to death via a shooting range hosted by QSO. Unholster dam. Rev. Fire! Moving on, new hires for the QN team. Our previous presenter prematurely retired, and management scrambled to fill in the open slot. Coming up after the break, we have nothing. We didn't have enough news to cover the whole show tonight, so I'm going to say absolutely nothing in the cadence of the news story. to this part of the news anyway, so I think we should be okay. News, 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 blah, 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 filler, 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 which leads us to the most important question. What was the meaning of all that? The answer is quite clear. It's a perfect segue to our daily fishing and weather report, hosted by Owen Fisher. Yes, and it's going to be a great time for that fishing trip, with fish populations up 15%. Now for the weather, as you can see, the weather today was wonderful. The sun is shining, perfect conditions to take a walk. But you, the viewer, can never see it. Thank you, Owen Fisher. We move on over to our business segment of this program, the Quantum Broadcasting Corporation's Amazing Stonk Time Bonanza. As we can see here, stonks are going up, and then over here, stonks are going very, very, very far down. The whiteboard cannot even capture how much stonks have gone down. Are we seeing the new financial crisis? I suppose we are. Employees' paychecks have been cut by 15%, maintenance has been cut by 10%, and our paychecks have been cut by 50%. If the trend continues, we might face budget cuts for this show. Oh no! Anyways, Jennifer Parker and Mark Adams have the next edition on Monday for you. Weekend schedules begin shortly. I've been Jeremy Dixon. 
And I've been Megan Hughes, but from all of the team here, have a lovely weekend. Good night. Yeah, just move him, move him. <laughs> move him. Move him off the set.